Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a no brushes makeup challenge. I really was in the mood to film something today because mainly because like my hair is done and like that never happens. And also because I've just been in the mood to film and upload a lot. I've been uploading almost like twice a week, every week. So I hope you guys have been enjoying those. Make sure the notifications are on so you're not missing them. Anyway, long story short, I wanted to film but I didn't have any brushes. Like literally this is all I have right now in front of me which is not a lot to do a full face. So I thought, why don't I just do a no brushes makeup challenge and that'll be like something fun to do. I feel like nowadays most people have brushes so hopefully this is just like entertainment and um, you pick up some tricks and tips and in case you forget your brushes one day on vacation or something. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started. Um, I'm gonna change my shirt, you guys, because I feel like it's making a lot of noise and my mic is literally right here. So I'll be back. All right, much better. For my primer, I'm gonna go ahead and use something a little hydrating. This one is by Bare Minerals. It's the Complexion Rescue Defense, and it's definitely more of a hydrating primer. I'm just gonna press this onto my skin. Even my hands just feel so dry. I'm definitely thinking it's the weather and all the fires in LA. The air quality has been so bad, you guys. Like every morning we just wake up and check the app and it's just been so, so bad. And we're not even that close to the fires. I can only imagine the people that are near and like all the people that had to evacuate their homes. It's just been such a crazy, crazy couple of weeks. Okay, so for my foundation, I'm gonna go in with a cult classic. This one's by Estee Lauder. It's the double wear. I haven't used this in a while, but I've used this a ton on my channel. I'm in the shade 2C1. To be honest, whenever I'm in a rush, I do like to apply my foundation with my fingers. I feel like it just does the job and it blends beautifully. So I just kind of like slap, <laughs> slap my face. I just kind of just press the product onto my skin rather than like drag it. This foundation is definitely a little bit lighter, but it does oxidize just a tiny bit. And then once I put in my bronzer and everything, it kind of balances it out. For some reason, my breakouts are always on this side. I don't know what it is. I look like a ghost right now. I have like little wipes here because I'm gonna need it. For my under eyes, I'm gonna use this Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit and then blend away. I think I put a little too much product. I feel like I'm so used to using either a beauty, bl beauty blender or a brush. Usually the brush or the beauty blender will take a lot of the product off. So now I'm like, I put way too much. I obviously can't powder this, but I feel like I need to. So I don't know what to do. I don't know if it's a good idea. I'm gonna try to use a powder and I'm actually gonna try to use a translucent powder. So here we go. You just gotta press it in and hope for the best. That's good enough. So anytime you're working with your fingers, it's obviously better to use cream products versus powders. So that's what I'm gonna try to do today. Mostly use cream products, even on my eyes. So anyway, for my bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the usual. It's the Milk Makeup in Baked. And I'm actually gonna apply this directly and then blend with my fingers. It's good to have makeup wipes around or baby wipes. These are actually baby wipes just to get the excess out. Otherwise your hands will be just full of color. Again, I'm not trying to move the product so much. I'm just like tapping motions and kind of a little bit of back and forth so we don't move the placement too much. I love how I'm like explaining like a legit tutorial, but it's like most people have brushes nowadays, right? That doesn't look bad. I always have to check to make sure my mic is still there. Sometimes it like falls or I go to the bathroom and I forget to put it back on. All right, and then for my blush, I'm gonna use a cream one again. This one is by Honest Beauty and it's in the shade Peony Pink. I'm pretty sure I used this recently in another video or maybe it was like an IG cut because I've been doing a lot of Instagram videos lately. I'm like really into them. They're like short 40 second to a minute long Instagram like tutorials. With cream blushes, it's better to kind of take a lot of it off on the back of your hand and then just build your way up. Otherwise, if you put too much product, it's kind of hard to blend it and you don't want to look a little, you know, clowny. <laughs> like my beginning days of YouTube, I used to put so much blush on and a lot of comments were about that. I mean, I love blush. I feel like it just like makes me look more youthful and awake. Oh yeah, I did use this blush in that video, um, how to look younger and more youthful. So if you guys want to see that, check it out. I did some techniques in that video to like make you look a little bit more youthful and younger. 
I'm also going to apply a little bit of this blush on my eyelids. Love that so much. This is a beautiful blush. I really need to do my brows because, well, you know, it's looking a bit crazy. And since I can't brush them, I'm just going to flick them up like this with a pencil. One last thing on the face, and that's highlighter. I'm gonna use a liquid one. I was gonna use this one, but honestly, it's so old. I'm like pretty sure it's expired by now. It's the Lancome highlighter. I used to use this all the time. Do you guys remember that? But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is expired. I should probably throw that away. So anyway, I'm gonna use this Marc Jacobs one. It's a liquid product, so you can mix it in with your foundation or just put it on over makeup, and that's what I'm going to do. That's like way too much, but you get a lot with one pump. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this. And it's so subtle, perfect for every day. My eyes are creasing like crazy. Are you guys proud of my upload schedule? I've been so good. I've been uploading almost twice a week. So if you guys don't have your notifications turned on, you're probably missing a lot of videos because YouTube algorithm sucks pretty much. And even though you might be subscribed to my channel, you don't necessarily get every notification unless you hit the notification bell. It's a whole thing. So if you guys want to see my videos, please make sure you hit that notification bell. Okay, I think that's pretty, very subtle. You can hardly tell, but it's there. It's dewy, that'll do. I don't like my eyebrows, but it's hard not to like brush brows. You know what I mean? They're just like so bushy and still sparse. I don't understand. I've been filling them in for like two hours. I wish I could just wake up with my brows done, really. See, like that is so harsh. I need to brush it, but I can't brush it. Is fully considered a brush? Can I cheat here? I'm not gonna cheat. I'm just gonna move on and hopefully not stare at my brows for another two hours. Okay, for the eyes, I'm gonna use a, a few different things, but I am gonna use nude sticks because it's like the perfect thing that you kind of can use with your, with your fingers, is what I meant to say. This is the Melissa Alatori and Nude Sticks collaboration. It's my first time using it on camera, but I have used it on stories and live, and it was in my favorites video as well. It's a really, really cool palette with a lot of different shades. So I am going to go in with like a brown shade and, um, um, create like a smoky eye at first. This is in the color chocolate and I should probably turn off my phone or put it on silent because I'm getting a lot of Slack notifications. I'm gonna apply this directly on my eyelids and then go ahead and blend it in with my ring finger. These are so good for just like putting your makeup on on the go in the car or whatever because you can just put it on and blend it in place and Melissa did a really good job picking like some really cool colors for fall. So I've been really enjoying these. It's just like a really good base, but I am gonna play with some shimmers and stuff later. I'm also gonna apply this on my bottom lash line and then just blend it in again. With the bottom lash line, I do like to use my pinky because it's just smaller. It almost like mimics a pencil brush size. So that's how I like to do that. I mean, you don't even have to blend it. You can like do more of a precise, but you guys know I like everything blended. My mirror is so far. You're gonna probably see a slimmer of the mirror. That's okay, I can't see. I really feel like I need glasses, but I'm just procrastinating going to the doctor to see if I need glasses. I feel like I do need it though. Okay, I like that base a lot. I'm not sure if you can wear these in your waterline, so just to play it safe, I'm not gonna do that. I'll use our brand new eyeliners actually, so you can see it in action. By the time this video comes out, the eyeliners have probably been out for a while, but still, I'll use those. I love this color. I feel like this on the lips would be really pretty too for fall. Is it still fall? I can't, I don't even know. I think it might be winter. No, winter is in December. Wow. I'm so confused with my life. Oh, <gasps> I forgot to use my wipes. Whoops. Need another one. So the key is really to just make sure your fingers are always clean. I don't want to pull too much. I think this looks good as like a nice base. You can obviously put on some mascara, even throw on some lashes and be good. You probably don't need the lashes because this is, could be a good everyday look if you ignore the brows. I mean, I, I don't know what's going on with this brow. Like what is happening, girl? I think at the very end of the tutorial, I'm gonna brush my brows because I just can't take it anymore. For my liner, I'm gonna go in with the new Persona Cosmetics eyeliner in bronze. And this is just like a coppery bronze. So it's got a very nice warm undertone. I love this for, especially for like brown eyes or blue eyes. It just makes your eye color pop. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use this. 
It also comes in black individually, and then the brown and the plum are in the kits, so you can't get those individually yet, but hopefully if we have enough requests, maybe we'll ring them um, individually, individually as well. So these are waterproof liners, and you have about 30 seconds playtime, so if you want to do something similar to this, you can. You just have 30 seconds to blend them, and then it dries matte and it doesn't budge. It's 24 hours and it's waterproof. Because as you can see, it makes everything a little bit more like sultry, and because it's got a little bit of shimmer to it, it makes the eye color a little bit more glossy, I feel. I'm gonna also apply this really close to my lash line, because I'm like, now I'm like, I really want that copper bronze shade kind of like to come through. Oh, I love that, yes. Together, they like complement really well. It's very like subtle, you know, it's not in your face, so I like that. I love this trick of like pulling a little bit, just very gently. I do have this fancy Natasha Denona palette, and she's got a lot of really beautiful shimmers in here. I'm gonna go with the gold, this one right here. Very pigmented. Which side do we like better? They're different. I kind of like this side better, but let's just blend. Blend a little more, shall we? Okay, now I like it. I feel like I lost a little bit of the liner, so I'm just gonna go back and intensify that. I still look a bit pale, don't I? I feel like I need more bronzer. Um, I'm gonna apply some mascara, but first, of course, we're gonna curl the lashes. I'm gonna use this Maybelline Snap Mascara. This is a wax-free mascara, and so let's go ahead and apply it a million layers, shall we? It's really nice. Wow, I like it. Gives you a lot of volume. I don't know what time it is. Let's see what time it is. Oh, four o'clock, and I'm hungry already. Ooh. My mom's at Costco buying bars for the office, and she sent me this picture. She's like, which one do I buy? Hmm, decisions, decisions. I like a kind bar. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, I got the kind bar. It's peanut butter and cinnamon. We'll see. I like coconut, but I didn't see any coconut flavor. I'm so hungry right now. I had lunch at like 11.30, but I've been waking up like so early lately. I don't know why. I'm like up by 5.45, 6 o'clock, and then I get hungry. Do you guys live in the city or in the suburbs? I'm so curious. I live in the city, I've lived in the city for like four years, but I'm getting a little tired of it. I think I'm like leaning towards the suburbs now, trying to figure it out. Okay, I really like this eye, it's really pretty. And you can't even tell that I didn't use brushes, right? Maybe a little bit here. I also feel like I need more blush. I don't love my complexion, I'll be honest. Like I want to be able to blend it in with my Kabuki brush because I feel like it just, I don't know, it does a way better job, but it doesn't look terrible. Okay, so for the lips, I've got some options. This is the Maybelline in number 112. One of my favorite makeup artists on Instagram, she does this technique where she will grab a brush and blend out the edges. Katie is her name, I'll link her down below. She's amazing, so good. Anyway, and I, I don't know, I need to try that. I mean, obviously I can't do it now because I need a brush, but she kind of like feathers the outer corners and like just makes it so pretty. Her name is Katie Jane Hughes and I'll link her down in the description box. You guys should follow her. Her makeup looks are insane and she's always live and I always catch her and I'm like obsessed. So I changed my mind. I took off the Maybelline one. I'm gonna go in with the Nude Sticks one. I just feel like it wasn't like quite even on me and I don't know, something just didn't work. So I'm just gonna go in with this. They do include a sharpener, which actually comes in handy. Yeah, I feel like this works better with the colors. It's like brighter. I'm gonna go in with the Zoeva lip liner. I, I think the shade is BB7, I don't know. Usually with darker shades, I go back and fix it with a brush and a concealer but I can't do that. Mm, I like it. The lips are not perfect because I can't go back and clean it, so this is really the best I could do. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts. How did I do? Rate me from like one to 10. Be nice. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you are notified when I do upload. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye guys. Whoa. I do have this fan <laughs> Maybelline Snap Snapscare. Snap <laughs>
I always lose my caps. Like, where on earth is my cap? I'm falling asleep and I'm hungry. I don't know what's going on. I did hydrate. 